What's poppin' beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, the name is Bree. Yay! I'm gonna just jump right into it. I don't wanna waste no time. But um, on April 10th, I had a specific dream that was very detailed. I woke up and remembered everything. I had to like jot it down on my notes. If y'all see me looking down, it's because I wrote everything down. Um, and y'all know how that is. Like most of the time when we dream, we can't remember every single detail. Like it just be little things that stand out to you that you'll remember. But no, I remember everything word for word, word for word. What Brianna? Word for word. And the reason why I'm sharing this is because when I woke up, instantly out of my mouth was thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus. And it was put on my heart to share it's very interesting that in my dream i was sharing a message and then when i woke up it was put on my heart to share this dream so okay so i wrote everything down once again y'all can even see like i'm not even playing like i wrote every detail down like it's ridiculous um so I was with someone, I don't know if they were a friend or a stranger. I couldn't really, I didn't really recognize the person I was with, but I know for sure it was a woman. And it was like we went into some apartments. And then fast forward in the dream, I was coming out the apartments by myself. I was coming out and I just looked into the sky because I was hearing voices. I was hearing like almost like a choir. Like I was hearing singing. I can't recall what they were saying, but I was hearing singing. And I just remember looking up in the sky. And then it was like I heard a, a trumpet noise, right? But I'm the only one. I'm the only one that can hear this because I'm asking people who's walking by. I'm like, do y'all hear that? And they're just like, what? What are you talking about? And then they walk past me. Like, I'm asking people, do you hear this? And so, nobody hears it but me, right? Next thing I knew, it started getting louder. Like, the singing got louder. And then you could hear, like, a trumpet sound. And next thing I knew, it was like, the people around me could hear it. Like, now everybody could hear it, right? Because it was getting, it was increasing. Next thing I knew people were panicking like people were running it was almost as if everybody knew what that sound was it was like they knew jesus is coming back like this is this is the end like they're sounding the trumpets like that trumpet sound it was like everybody was in panic mode okay so it was like i was walking in the garage to get to my car or something it went from me being at these apartments to me being in a garage to it being at like a school or something all i know is that people around me was trying to like get to their loved ones they were panicking they were running around then fast forward a little bit i ended up in this room with a a bunch of people like it was a lot of people as if we were trying to hide out or something. So we were all in this um, room. It kind of, it was kind of like a cafeteria. Out of nowhere, I got up and I was trying to calm everybody down. Like I was telling everybody, be quiet. Really, I was saying, shut up. Like, shut up. Everybody shut up. I feel like I said shut up instead of be quiet because when I tell you it was chaos, like people were screaming, people were talking, people were running, like, and I was just like, shut up. Like everybody listen. I said, something is heavy on my heart. I said, I have to share this with you guys or something. And let me also say this. When we first, like when we were in the garage and people were running around and then when we were, when we ended up in the cafeteria, what Brianna? when we ended up in the cafeteria room whatever it was um i noticed that it was a mixture of kids and adults right but when i started speaking when i started speaking it was like it switched from a mixture of adults and kids to like all children like it it, it switched to like they were like middle school slash high school students 
I don't know it was just it was just weird how it switched like it was like adults and kids and then we all ended up in one room and then once I started speaking it was like everybody turned into children but every time every time when I think about that part I think about like how we are God's children and so at this point let me um read my notes because I want to make sure I get every detail out I don't want to miss anything. This is what I said when everybody was calm and stuff. I said, it's on my heart to share something. It was said that people will get visions, dreams, and instructions from God. Not the lowercase God of the worldly things. And then it was like, I went into saying like, not the lowercase god of the worldly things like oh my car i want a bbl like i don't even know why i said that but i think i was trying to give an example of like worldly things like those things don't matter to god like that's not that, that's something of the world to desire something that you can't necessarily take with you or that doesn't glorify god you know what i mean like i think that was where i was going with that in my dream but I'm just making sure I let y'all know like this is how detailed it was like this is exactly what I said not the lowercase God of the worldly things and I gave my example of course and I said but God I said capital G O D the one and only then it was like I proceeded to reference um, the revelation in the Bible and I briefly spoke on how in the Bible it says that we will hear trumpets it was like the people that I was speaking to, like the children that I was speaking to, um, they started clapping and cheering. Like it was like they were giving God the glory. Like it was like they were praising God. Like, yes, like I knew it. I knew that's what I was hearing. But it's interesting because it was like people were excited. People were excited about hearing the trumpets and stuff, but it was like they were panicking. Like people were panicking. So, I don't know maybe I was just seeing a whole different group of people when I was seeing the panicking part and then when it turned into the children maybe it was like God's children that I was speaking to I don't know I don't I don't know then I ended the announcement I call it an announcement or I don't know it did feel like I was preaching in the dream I'm not gonna lie like it felt like it just turned into a church or something like it was children and we were all in a safe space and people were praising God like because I just said something about the trumpets and stuff and so we are my bad y'all so we already knew what time it was when I spoke on that right so then I ended the announcement or my speech with Ultimately, it's your right, so it's your choice, to not believe in God. However, you got a chance right now to live for him for the rest of your life. Like, it was one of those things like, regardless of us hearing the trumpets and, you know, the voices in the sky or whatever the case and people going crazy, regardless of what we just heard, it was like, it was almost as if like we were going to be given another chance to get it right so and it's it's very interesting because if i'm not mistaken in revelation they talk about how um the signs of jesus coming back and basically people will have an opportunity to repent and to um to turn to god but there are going to be many out there that are not going to repent and so you know like yeah it's just going to get bad from there for certain people um, so yeah, I said ultimately it's your right to not believe in God. However, you got a chance right now to live for him for the rest of your life. I promise you, if you have faith in him, you will feel loved. You will feel beautiful. You will feel protected. You will feel joy. And it was like, it was like the people that I was speaking to started like crying and praising. Like they were just like like yes like it was like somebody i don't know I, I just heard a cry it was almost as if like that was their breakthrough moment like something like the chain was broken or something like i don't know like i can't explain it to you but i'm about to get teary eyed thinking about this wow but i spoke those words and i felt myself getting emotional in the dream after i finished everything 
um everybody was clapping and stuff and i went back to my seat while i was crying like i'm crying while walking back to my seat i know why i was crying in that dream i know exactly why i was about to get emotional i know why i was getting emotional in that dream because in that very moment i was being obedient um as scary as it was in the dream and even in real life as scary as it is to walk in your faith stand in your faith speak truth share knowledge and wisdom um as hard as it is to live in a world full of evil um i know for a fact in real life that i desire to be bold in my faith um and i feel like in that moment in that dream i feel like i was bold and I was obedient because something was put on my heart and my spirit to speak for those people who were panicking. And I was letting them know that basically everything is going to be okay. You just have to seek him. You just have to seek the Lord. Yeah, like I said earlier in the video, I woke up thanking him. The first words out of my mouth was, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Like, it was like, thank you, Jesus, for that dream. And because... It is said that during end times, people are going to have dreams, visions about end times, revelation, the rapture. And so with this particular dream, um, I knew in my heart, this is, this is me like in the flesh now, like I woke up and I'm, I'm no longer, you know, dreaming or sleep. When I woke up and I said, thank you, Jesus something inside me said share this um i know it wasn't me i know it wasn't me that said share this because i didn't want to share it that's just me being real like i didn't want to share it because there are a lot of people out there who um they call it monitoring spirits um who watch for wicked reasons and um you know, I know I know that God is working through me and I know that, you know, um, the enemy is going to do his best to try to attack um, rather it's through other people, um, rather it's through my own thoughts. Um, so, like I said, like I really didn't want to share this video. I know deep down inside God wanted me to share this because me feeling bold in my dream is what I'm feeling right now in this very moment I'm being bold like I'm doing something I'm being obedient like I don't necessarily want to put myself out there like that because it does come off as being um very vulnerable but at the same time it's not about me it's not about me and um you just never know who could come across this video. Yeah, so I'm going to just leave it at that. But um, peace and blessings to you all. Make sure to be kind. You never know what somebody is going through until then. Oh, yeah, don't be a hater. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Oh.